Health Minister Ivan Lewis made the shameful admission last night that elderly people are being starved in care homes and hospitals. Recent figures show that more than 2,000 care homes have failed to meet the minimum nutrition requirements. From February 27th, drivers will face a fine of up to £60 as well as three points on their licence if caught driving with their mobile phones. You may have noticed over the past few weeks we've been experiencing a lot of freak weather. Wind, rain and even snow have been causing havoc for commuters. Holly's not doom and gloom, as a recent study showed that 85% of Britons expect to be happier in the future, and with spring just around the corner, there are brighter days ahead. Thousands of patients have logged onto the site today to comment on the way the doctors have been treating them. Dr Jacob Armitage gives his opinion. Well, I believe that the Health Secretary has only done this to victimise doctors and catch them out if they have made a mistake. Patients I have seen have been very satisfied with the treatment I have given. Having worked in a nursing home for the past five years, I believe the level of care is of a high standard, although this is not always the case. There are some workers who abuse their role. Recent studies from the DVLA show that drivers who use a mobile phone whilst driving, whether handheld or hands-free, are much less aware of what's happening on the road around them. Depression takes into account the main factors that contribute towards depression, such as seasonal weather and overspending at Christmas. By understanding and highlighting these factors, we can help eradicate the New Year blues. Global warming is currently a big issue. If the rate of temperature change increases more than it is at the moment, catastrophic effects could happen to the Earth. Yes, why not? I think your doctor should be able to know what you think about him. If you don't tell him face to face, yeah. This morning I'm a bit depressed myself because there must be an accident on the ring road. The traffic, there's police cars everywhere, you can't get down. We've been trailing around town for the last half hour trying to get parked. Yes, I do think global warming could be to, to blame and yeah, the weather used to be a lot colder when I was young, which was a long time ago. It was revealed last night that police are no longer allowed to arrest under 18s caught smoking cannabis. Instead, they must find less intrusive ways of dealing with people caught using the drug. The most police can now do is caution the youths and take them home. It's like, it, it doesn't really affect me because I don't like do it, so it's like, no real problem with it, but just because you're under 18, you should still be allowed to be arrested for it. Great move because such a thing is best dealt with by the family, such a trivial matter. A bit of encouragement, I wholeheartedly approve. Well, it's, it's uh, better than what it was before, but I think that uh, nobody should be arrested for cannabis <laughs> because it's a natural substance, very few side effects, uh, it should be free. I think that the police not being able to arrest under 16s for smoking cannabis will mean that it will encourage them because they'll just think they can do it and get away with it. The new guideline has provoked anger from experts because of the growing mental health issues associated with cannabis. Storm Dale, chief executive of the mental health charity, SANE, feels there is cause for concern. I'm definitely not of the opinion that you should be thrown into cells if caught smoking cannabis especially if there are no other crimes involved, but at the same time I believe there are some issues here that aren't being addressed fully. Issues such as adolescents who use cannabis regularly are five times more likely to develop anxiety or depression in later life. Therefore, I believe it's, it's not a factor of crime, it's a matter of public health. With more and more teenagers smoking cannabis, what message do the new guidelines give today's youth? Emily Ewing, reporting for Look North, Huddersfield.